of course, like mechanically and stuff like that, we we are, have like top players in every role. So I think uh, our chances of going to Worlds, like placing top four, basically, is uh, like pretty high. Hi everyone, this is Tom reporting from the LEC and with me here today is Kaiser, the support player for Mad Lions. How are you doing, man? I mean, I'm feeling great right now because we <laughs> just won against Fanatics, so... Yeah, um, it was a quite surprising win, uh, I should say, because, you know, for a long time it seemed like Fnatic was slowly pushing you guys over and then you guys flipped the switch or something. What happened you know, uh, when you guys turned it all around? And so basically, we kind of knew that we were, would outscale them because uh, they had kind of a one threat comp with their graves, right? So, uh, mm -hmm. Aside from their graves, they didn't really have much damage. Like mm -hmm. they had uh, AD Twisted Fate and Mordekaiser who can't really kill anyone. Uh, so we just knew, like, once we kill the graves or like we uh, build some items on Orianna, especially, then we just can't, cannot lose the, lose the game anymore. And uh, of course, like, we did a good job, or like uh, Shadow did a good job, like, stealing dragons, <laughs> securing dragons, right? So they couldn't even outscale us with, like, a uh, dragon soul or something, and we even got the soul ourselves, so we just mm -hmm. knew the, the game was over after like 30 minutes. Yeah, and uh, still, you know, you you are against one of the best teams in the LEC, and uh, Fnatic did beat you guys, you know, in the, in the Spring Split playoffs. Was there some sort of special preparation you guys had for Fnatic? Um, I mean, not really. Like, uh, of course, we'd like check the solo queue accounts. Like, for example, we knew that they were g most likely gonna play the Soraka bot lane because uh, mm -hmm. Reckless like was playing it a bit on in, in solo queue. Uh, so we kind of like thought like how would like Sina Wukong be against Soraka bot lane, and we like thought yeah, it's probably better than normal AD carries, right? Mm -hmm. Because like, I mean, as you could like see, we I mean the Senna got the one shot level two, but yeah. after that point, I could just like block Nautilus W uh, queues with my W and stuff like that. So we are kind of safe there. Um, yeah. But aside from that, like we didn't really do like any special preparation. I want to talk to you about that uh, Soraka bot lane because you know we have seen Soraka in the top lane last split, and now we're seeing her in the bot lane picked by the AD carries. Or yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, how is it to play against this? I mean, of course, like at level two or three, it's like really, really rough to play against because if you get hit by one skill shot. You basically get hit by everything, mm -hmm. and that can most likely lead to your death as well. But, uh, I mean, like, after some time, the Nautilus damage starts to fall off, like, the Soraka damage starts to fall off, like, when she's building, like, a Fiends and Redemption, right? Mm -hmm. uh, she can't really do much by herself anymore. Like, she really relies on her teammates, and uh, if her teammates are not far ahead enough, then mm -hmm. uh, she can't carry the game by herself, right? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose the, the, that's a good point, right? It's something that, I suppose, needs to snowball more. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, you need to snowball the game, like, you have to have, like, a damage-dealing jungler or mid laner, and then, like, secure dragons, of course, because uh, Soraka Nautilus is, like, a really strong lane, right? You should be able to push anyone in, um, go for dragons and stuff like that. I mean, they didn't really do that, they went for heralds, uh, they went for the gold option, mm -hmm. uh, but they couldn't snowball in the end. Yeah, now... This is obviously a great match for Mad Lions to win, for, for you guys to win. Um, keeping an eye on the fact that you guys are definitely contesting at least for a world spot and possibly for you know a a summer split title this uh, this split. How do you feel about Mad Lions' chances at the moment? I mean, I think uh, especially after today's showing, I think we have a really good grasp on the matter. Like we we know what to pick. We want mm -hmm. know what like other teams probably prioritize, right? Like usually barriers and stuff like that. Um, so I think we are pretty confident right now. Maybe the patch changes sometime soon, and then like we might like drop off a bit. But I, I think like we are really adaptable as a as a whole. So I don't think we will have uh, problems with that. And like of course, like mechanically and stuff like that, we we are, have like top players in every role. So I think uh, our chances of going to worlds, like placing top four, basically, is uh, like pretty high. I would say. Mm -hmm. One well, one point of criticism people could point out is you know obviously. Uh, Shadow's Lee Sin is extremely well, but it's, you know, it's a champion he almost exclusively plays. Is there, um, do you think you guys are a flexible team? Uh, flexible enough when it comes to um, adjusting to new metas and, and new strategies? Uh, I think so, for sure. Like, uh, 
the reason why we didn't really pick anything else other than listen is because people let us have li the listen, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, we, we, of course, like in streams, for example, we prepared other things. Like, mm -hmm. uh, Shadow plays a lot of champions, like aside from listen. But of course, if it's open, we just pick his best champion, right? It's his comfort pick. Uh, he's really good on it, so might as well, right? Like, once people like maybe figure out, like maybe we should ban his listen. Uh, we will just bring out our other champions, and then we will just smurf again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is that, you know, like, um, it, how long does it take you guys to adjust to, to a new meta? Now, you know, during the spring split, you guys played a very aggressive style and now you guys are trying out more things. How long does it take, um, a team such as yourself, um, to, to adjust to new metas? I mean, I think, um, we do a really good job at like, how to like adjust new adjust to new play sets. So, like we have team talks for example like we have whole presentations about like champions in general like we have really long discussions discussions about what we want from a champion for example uh we played a bit of senna wukong in bot lane like we talked about what do we want to do early game like what, where should we play around should we leash stuff like that right mm -hmm. and we do that a lot and i think like um also like what benefits us or like what we are really good at is like just learning champions in general like for example um, Kazi plays like mages extremely well, right? Like I play bruisers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Rome plays tanks, he plays bru bruisers as well. Like Merrick plays assassins, he plays mages. Like Shadow can also play like a lot of different champions, right? And even like first timing is like no no real problem for us. So I think like that's a big thing as well. Yeah. Now I want to ask you in, in uh, go a bit more into hypotheticals because I think for you know. Uh, as you just say, at least you guys have the flexibility to adapt if necessary. But for you as a support player, what do you what do you like playing as a support player? <laughs> I mean, the the center lanes are of course my guilty pleasure because I get to farm, I get to be ahead, right? I can get to one shot people. Mm -hmm. So I think like the most fun is of course like the the Bukong lanes and stuff like that. Um, I mean, aside from that, of course, like uh, engaging supports like Rakan uh fresh stuff like that is of course like really fun for me as well yeah um i mean the meta shifts the kind of to uh, like more enchanters right with lulu karma yumi mm -hmm. but uh, luckily like we don't see them that often because they're always banned so yeah, yeah. and i i don't suppose i even have to ask you about things like tom Kench and yeah <laughs> i mean i think every support is like in unison like we hate that champion so yeah yeah no fair point now you look ahead, you know, you guys um, did lose against G2. You guys won against Fnatic. What are the other teams in the LEC at the moment that you think can put up a fight against you at the moment? Um, I think Vitality looked pretty good, actually. Like, uh, especially their bot lane is, like, pretty talented, I would say. So, mm -hmm. I think, uh, like, tomorrow will be a very fun matchup against them. And I think, uh, depending on how the early game goes, like, either side can uh, snowball. I mean, aside from that, I think Origin is like just a good team in general, right? They have like pretty good players in every position. They mm -hmm. know macro well. Like, I mean, they are just in general a good team, right? Yep. Um So I think uh, I guess Origin could uh, give us a run for our money. Like Rogue, of course, is like looking pretty strong as well. Like they're four zero right now, I think. Mm -hmm. So we will have to see uh, against them as well. But uh, I mean, other than that, I think like we have a pretty good matchup against anyone. Like we on a good day, I think we can just beat every every team. Also G2. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> to round up the interview, um, you know, the, 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 the LEC is heavily contested at the moment, at least the opening weekend showed, you know, that many teams are finding their shape and they, they have upset potential. Where do you see Medlines finish realistically at the end of the split? What are your, what's your prediction? Hmm. I mean, our goal is for sure to be top two, um, and I think like our. Hmm. I mean, I would expect us to be like at least top three. Or like, uh, I mean, I don't see like us uh, placing uh, below uh, the the mid tier teams like uh, Rogue, Ro Misfits, stuff like that, right? Uh, for example, Misfits uh, looked a lot worse in the recent uh, times, so mm -hmm. we have like one less con contender for like our our worst spot. So I think like top top three, top two is like. Uh, my prediction. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Kaiser, and best of luck in the rest of the split. Thank you so much for the interview. See you. See you.